Hey everyone, so as always, we'll start off with the settings here, but before we get into it, I just wanted to give a shout out to my YouTube member, uh, YouTube channel member, sorry, uh, Darkstar, Omoa, Rico, and Joey VR. So thank you again. Any funds generated from what you guys subscribe, obviously, with will go right back into the channel. I'm not profiting off any of this or the YouTube AdSense at all in any way possible. So thank you again for everyone watching. Um, this video is going to be just like kind of my settings, obviously, here at the beginning, and then we'll just kind of get into the performance a little bit at 1080p, 720, at 15 watt, and 25 watt. And you'll find that even at 15 watt, you can get a pretty much 40 hertz, 40 FPS lock at 1080p or 720p, 720p quite easily. Um, and then, yeah, you could honestly save even more power at 720p 40 hertz or 30 fps if you're wanting to go down that low uh, but anyway we'll get into it so in the first bit of settings here or footage we'll show fsr quality at 1080p 15 watt so as you can see here we're getting pretty well over 40 fps most of the time and then even though like i'm playing as my sorcerer i'm only level 42 so it's not the highest and dungeon or anything like that by any means but as you can see here with all the particle effects going on we will drop to 40 uh, high 30s so i would call this a very close to 40 fps lock so if you're going to lock the fps at 40 go ahead do that and then turn off cpu boost so when you are locking your fps you're going to want to turn off cpu boost otherwise if you have it on you're going to be wasting power for the cpu boosting up and above what it needs to to produce the frames that you're only locking at 40. Uh, so if you're playing with an unlocked frame rate though and as you can see here we're going 1080p native uh, 15 watt um, so when you go unlock frame rate with cpu boost then you're not going to notice a difference in battery life when your cpu boost on and off you just again you're just not going to notice the difference in the battery life you can see my previous videos on this um on my channel all right and we can see now going over to fsr balance still 1080p 15 watt again uh you can see the frame rate is well and above 40 at this point so it's not you're not going to get a lock 60 by any means on this but you will definitely get a locked 40. uh you can see here in the heavy combat again with the heavy particle effects uh, at this point, we're just power limited. Like, we're going to be keep dropping down to these mid to low 40s, no matter what at this point. The FSR isn't going to save us here, because we're not graphically limited. We're just limited by the amount of power and, like, CPU and everything. So, you'll see that, obviously, the more power you throw at it, the higher FPS you will get. Um, but again, with all the particle effects going in this combat encounter here with my Sorcerer, um, you can see that it didn't drop below 40 at all. Now moving over to 1080p FSR balanced, again, you can see, yeah, like in the general kind of movement in the dungeon, yeah, you're going to be 60 and above. But again, getting into the combat encounters, we're going to hit 50 to maybe high 40s in the heavy, heavy scenarios. So you are going to get well and above 40. Um, this is kind of at the point where if you're okay with a fluctuating kind of 50 to 60 FPS, then... This might be your kind of go-to setting if you really want 1080p FSR on whatever, right? Um, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would just go down to 720p at that point. But you can see now getting into 1080p FSR quality, 25 watt, we're kind of getting that same FSR performance quality level now, uh, except we're at 25 watt. So you can see that obviously going down in FSR quality, we would get more performance. Uh, but I'm not going to go through all the FSR modes on this, because obviously you're going to be well and above playable at this point, and you're going to be plugged in too. So. Now moving over to 1080p FSR balanced uh, 25 watt, we can see that running around we're well over 60 FPS at this point. Um, and then yeah, getting into a combat encounter real quick here, we're still pretty well above 60. Uh, I would expect to probably drop below 60 at some point running this mode, um, if you're in heavy, heavy, heavy in combat encounter. But it wouldn't be for very long, it would be very high 50s. Uh, but you can see you're bouncing right back up to 70s once we're out of combat. So this would be a good kind of docked plugged in mode at 1080p and that's about as far as I would push it. I wouldn't really go down to FSR performance for this one. So you can see moving over to 720p native 15 watt that we are getting above 60 FPS for the most part. Um, so yeah, honestly I would just run it at 720p even at 15 watt like you're... 
you're laughing at this point, really. And the battery savings, picture quality isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, as we kind of progress through, honestly, going up to FSR quality, you're going to get even more FPS, or you're pushing above 60 all the time in these combat encounters. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't really turn on FSR for this one. I would just use uh, Super Resolution or RSR for this one, and then it would just tune it up to 1080p through FSR 1 quality, basically. Um, but then, yeah, honestly, going down to 25 watt 720p native, uh, you're getting above 70, 80 FPS in these dungeon encounters. Uh, you'll never drop below 60 in this mode either. So it's an excellent plugged in experience as well if you want to get high FPS. Uh, but honestly, for Diablo, I wouldn't really bother with it. As long as I'm getting 40, I'm good. But I'm sure probably pro players that are doing the high-end content would probably disagree and would rather have higher FPS with that, so. And like I said, that'll do it for this one. It's just a really quick video just to throw the settings out there. Um, let me know in the comments like what you're getting gameplay-wise, FPS and everything, uh, where you are in the... Uh, end game content i guess i haven't honestly reached end game i haven't even beaten the story or anything like that yet i just haven't had time um so yeah just let me know what you're getting experience because i know obviously in diablo the higher you get the more and more enemies are spewed out the more and more particle effects and everything so obviously performance will degrade so throw out what your performance range is again in the comments there and uh yeah well, hopefully we can get like kind of a decent range maybe we can tweak the settings a little bit further together but anyway that'll do it for this one hope everyone has a great day